I'm Nathan Olivares Giles, technology reporter with the Los Angeles Times, and this week we're taking a look at Windows Phone 7.5, also known as Mango. Now this is Microsoft's competitor to Apple's iOS and Google's Android. You know what? Windows Phone looks nothing at all like iOS or Android. Now what you're going to see here is what they call live tiles, which are a bunch of tiles that actually push information from the apps out front. This way you don't have to tap an icon to get to what you want. Now while live tiles might be a different approach from Android or iOS, this is the exact same look as we saw from Windows Phone a year ago. Now there are more than 500 new features, but you're not going to notice a lot of them here. One thing that does kind of stand out is the ability of third-party apps to actually take advantage of this live tile feature and push information out, something that they weren't able to do in Windows Phone 7 when it launched a year ago. Now while there are more than 500 new features, there are a couple things that I think actually are worth noting and one of the big ones that I like here is multitasking. You just hold down this back button to go in or out of multitasking and you can see a bunch of smaller windows of all the apps you have running in the background. You just tap the one you want and then you're right there. Now another feature that I really enjoy is deeper integration with social networks. Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, you can integrate all of them into what you're doing here and it really shines when you're looking at these different hubs that Windows Phone Mango has for me, which is you if you're using the phone, and people. And basically what this allows you to do is see updates across social networks in one place. Inside of Windows Phone's People app, you can even create groups. I have one here for family and I have another one here for homies, my friends. And in the homies group, I can actually see what people are updating across their social networks. New pictures from those social networks and from my friends show up there. And it just makes a nice, quick spot to survey what's going on with a big group of people. Now something else that got an update in Mango, of course, is Internet Explorer. IE9 now has HTML5 support, CSS3 support, but it's not as robust as I'd like. And there are a lot of other things that need, need to be improved. Tabbed browsing still isn't great. Windows is behind iOS and Android in this regard. Now another thing that could be made a lot better, Xbox Live. You have Angry Birds, you have some cool games. There's not as many that I see that really work with your Xbox at home if you have one, and a lot of people do. And I feel like there's a real opportunity here for Microsoft to have a killer app to allow Windows phones to stand out from the rest of the pack, and that's gaming. Right now, this isn't the best gaming handset out there as far as cell phones go and it really could be. Microsoft, you've got a big opportunity on your hands. What are you gonna do?